So here's another one. Child abuse and bad parenting and mental illness. You ever notice how seemingly all the celebrities, not just the celebrities, but also politicians, um, big time businessmen, the mega rich, those types of people. You ever notice how they all seem to be mentally ill? They give off blatant signs of mental illness. And how the culture actually seems geared towards producing mental illness in us. Like you see some of these movies and it's like half the cast are, look like a bunch of heroin addicts. And they're just like, these are just like regular people. But they look like heroin addicts. Or what about Nirvana? The whole grunge rock. Wasn't that just really heroin music? Isn't Future? And a lot of these mumble rappers just heroin music or lean music or pill music why do we celebrate mental illness as celebrities why do we look at someone with mental illness and say that's a star quality she's got it because if you really pay attention that is what's shown to you in the media the person with some sort of mental illness has that star quality. Now Quentin Tarantino, he's mad at his mommy. He's still mad at his mommy because she told him he wasn't going to be rich and famous. It's really sad because once again, <laughs> this, this harsh comment that she allegedly made Oh, and by the way, this little writing career with the finger quotes, this little writing career that you're doing, that fucking shit is over. <laughs> now, I'm laughing, but that is a really mean thing to say. It's an incredibly mean thing to say to your child. You, you couldn't convince me that if she said this to him at the age of, well, how old was he here? Young age, I don't know. It doesn't say how old he was when this happened. You would assume he's already writing screenplays. Eh, yeah, he's probably not a little kid anymore. But, you know, if she if she was speaking to him in that tone, that's not the first or last time that she spoke to him that way. Let's be very clear about that. And look at the type of person she produced. You know, Tarantino is a some, someone with no no ethics whatsoever. These these people, these Hollywood people, they celebrate this. They they celebrate the mass extinction. They celebrate the violence and the war. Quentin Tarantino was a garbage writer. I mean, his mom, as as mean as she was, she was right. He's a terrible writer. Controlling mothers like her have produced a lot of unpleasant people. So I guess I'm glad that he didn't become a serial killer I don't know what to say there but his movies are almost worse than being a serial killer they're a celebration of violence rape drug abuse every kind of degradation of the human spirit are celebrated in the Tarantino movies and there's nothing there's no deeper message than that it's it's junk food to the highest extent you got your saturated fats. You got your salts, your MSG. You got your compound sugars, your, your processed sugars. You got all of that in a Tarantino movie. And that's what, that's what his audience looks for, a cheap thrill, a cheap little adrenaline rush. There's no deeper substance to what he does. And a lot of it is really disgusting. A lot of things that he puts in his movies. You know if you've seen them. I've seen quite a few of them. I've seen maybe almost half of everything he's done. 
Um, I definitely saw both the Kill Bills. You know, I've seen a few of them. Pulp Fiction, everybody's seen that. But this whole dynamic with him and his mother is revealing. Because it really reveals how incredibly infantile he is. These are the people that we celebrate in our society. He's a big baby. I mean, what do you have when you got it all? What do you want when you have it all? I'm not saying he should give his mother money. I don't care if he gives her money or not. But the man has no kind of conscience whatsoever. None of them do. They're just vampires. And you can see it because they make so many vampire movies. Just look at the garbage movies they create. When have you ever seen a movie about a bunch of brilliant scientists or superheroes coming together to preserve nature and to make the earth green again and and lush and plentiful? When have you ever seen that movie? Never. It's a bunch of brilliant scientists and superheroes starting another fucking war or exploring into space, space so they can spread their cancer, destroy, spread their wars into space and spread their misery. That's what Hollywood really is. They don't want to heal this planet. And Tarantino's a prime example of that. He doesn't want to heal the planet. He doesn't want to heal the relationship with his mother. He just wants to put a step of foot on your neck and say, I'm better because look at me, I'm on TV. In my head, I go, okay, D, okay, lady. <laughs> okay, lady, when I become a successful writer, you see... He did it all just to spite his mama. He did it all just to spite his mammy. Sold his soul. Made, wrote garbage. Maybe he was a good writer once upon a time. And he just became a a low-life writer. A pulp fiction writer. Exactly. He doesn't hide what he is. It's pulp fiction. It's pure garbage. It's just there to entertain you. That's it. And, And keep you... And desensitize you to the violence and the rape and the drugs and the murder and the gangsterism and everything else that he celebrates in his movies. And he did it all just to spite his mama. Right? Because his goal wasn't to become a good writer. His goal was to become a successful writer. These are the people that control our culture. And you wonder why each generation is worse and worse, more degraded, more degenerate. Because it's by design. The Tarantinos of the industry, the next generation version will be even sicker. They are sick. Look at the other directors, all of them. All those ones who do those Disney freaking Marvel movies getting busted for pedophiles and all this nasty stuff. I mean, it's... It's a disgusting group of people. And Tarantino is so proud of himself. He stuck it to mama. Didn't buy her no Cadillac. I mean, <laughs> pathetic. To have that much money, power, and fame, everything you, anyone could want or is supposed to want in this society. Tarantino has all those things. And yet look how miserable he is. He can't even make up with his mama. Look at the miserable people that want you to be miserable like them. Misery loves company. And through the vehicle of the media, they can spread their misery to you. Do you want to be have your mind programmed by a man whose whole purpose in life is to stick it to mama? <laughs> so I'm sorry to say, Quentin, but your mother was actually correct. Your writing is trash, and you should have done something else. But let's not forget that Quentin, just like the rest of us, is a victim of the Great Plague. And his story illustrates just how much abused children are running the show at every level of society.